Bob, isn't your view called cheap grace or easy believism? What would you say to that? Well, yes, there have been a lot of people who have called it cheap grace or easy believism or even the no lordship position. And they all drive me nuts because they're all pejorative and they're all inappropriate. For example, um, cheap grace. Well, cheap grace implies that somehow saying that simply by believing in Jesus, a person has everlasting life cheapens the blood of Christ, cheapens what Jesus did for us on the cross. I don't get it. What he did, his, his shed blood is not cheap. It's the most expensive thing in the universe. God paid, paid the greatest price so that we could be redeemed, so that we could have everlasting life so that we could be savable. And so he makes us savable so that if we simply believe in Jesus, we have eternal life. Grace isn't cheap, it's free. That's why we call ours the free grace position. And easy believism, to me, is a tremendous misnomer. Now, believism, okay, I assume everybody in Christianity would have to say they believe in believism, right? John eleven twenty five 25 and 26, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. That's the promise of resurrection. And John eleven twenty six, concerning the life, he says, He who lives physically and believes in me shall never die. That's the promise of everlasting life. And then the Lord says, Do you believe this? Well, the this has to go back to the one who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And the one who lives and believes in me shall never die. So whatever we believe has to include believing in him because it's in both parts of John eleven twenty five 25 and John eleven twenty six. 26. So we all believe in believism. The only question is, is it easy or hard? And by the way, Dr. Ryrie has made the point, one of my seminary professors, Charles Ryrie of Ryrie Study Bible fame, that it's really not so easy to believe in justification by faith alone since most people reject it. <laughs> I mean, look at planet Earth today optimistically maybe what 20 percent of the people on the planet name the name of jesus and call themselves christians but most of those people are nominal and the number of those people who actually believe that simply by faith in jesus they have everlasting life is pretty low but let's be optimistic and say half the people in christianity actually have at some point in their life have believed that simply by faith in jesus they have everlasting life then that would be 10% of the world's population. Is that easy believism? <laughs> if 90% of the people reject it and half the people in Christianity even reject it? I don't see what's easy. And the no lordship position that John MacArthur and others have called, that's ridiculous because we do believe in the lordship of Christ and we can only be saved because it's the Lord Jesus Christ who makes this promise and who gives this gift. But the idea that we have to somehow commit to his lordship or yield to his lordship is a ridiculous addition to the simple promise of everlasting life to those who believe.